In this video, I'm going to show you a very nifty trick for achieving a perfect circular shape with clean shading using Sub D. Let's go. So in this video, we're going to be talking about achieving perfect shading and also a perfect circle on a cylindrical object. But before we start, let me tell you that if you're new to Blender, uh, you probably shouldn't start with Sub D. Uh, because it's a bit more complex and abstract. You should start with regular Boolean workflow and learn all the tools and learn all the basics of hard surface modeling. Now we have a fantastic free course for you called Jumpstart Hard Surface Modeling. It's available on our website and the link is in the video description. We have over 80,000 students who enrolled and they absolutely love it. In only a few hours you can you know, learn all the basics, all the important tools and uh, things about hard surface that you need to know to get started with Blender. So go ahead, click on the link in the video description and get your free copy. I'm going to show you three methods of applying a circle cut to a cylinder trying to retain very smooth shading and two of these methods gonna fail and one of them is gonna be perfect. So let me show you why these two methods fail and you know there's gonna be really really important to understand why they fail. And we're gonna be using shrink wrap on all of these and it's gonna be really cool. So let's grab a cylinder and uh, we're going to duplicate it. I'm going to scale it and control for it. So I want to have four levels of subdivision here to have a very smooth one and shade smooth and we're going to hide it. Okay. This one, uh, we're going to shade it smooth and going to remove these two. Right. And now we're going to apply some cuts in here. So we have more or less quad topology. And what I want to do now is I want to create a cut here that's going to be circular, a big one. So I'm going to select a grid 3x3 three three and I'm going to right click and click on circle. So now you can see that the circle is perfect, but um, it's not conforming to the shape of the cylinder. It's actually messing with the shading completely, ruining, right? So what we can do, we can, uh, you know, shrink wrap this. So we could go here, apply one level of subdivision and then go to the form and apply shrink wrap and shrink wrap it to the base mesh and now the shading is back to perfect right so you can go here to a mud cup and see that the shading is really clean but we have a problem and the problem is that this circle is no longer circular so let me just uh, delete this face here and you can see that uh, this is not a circle anymore this is actually like an oblong shape okay it's been stretched on a z-axis by shrink wrapping and subdivision okay and it's a problem because we want a perfect circle now another method that you could use would be um, through applying surface light from machine tools so again grabbing the same amount of edges here going to surface light and clicking on circle so now this method is going to give us a really nice wrap up around this surface but the problem again is that uh, it's going to be a bit stretched after we're going to shrink wrap it uh, to uh, the original mesh because you can see that there's a lot of shading issues right now on this mesh without shrink wrapping, right? We have a lot of wobbles. So what I would need to do is finish the surface slide, apply it subdivision and then go to the form shrink wrap and shrink wrap it. Now the shading is perfect, but again, uh, this, uh, you know, this opening here, this um, circular cut is going to be again stretched. So if I'm going to nuke all these here, you can see we have the same problem. So let me show you the last method, which is going to be actually ideal. It's a bit longer, but it's perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the same cylinder and I'm going to grab three by three here. I'm going to go to loop tools and circle and I'm going to shift the X this and I'm going to separate it to its own selection, okay? And now I'm going to fill it with a face and extrude it and create a boolean. Now here on this cylinder, what we could do is you could just replace it with a new one or simply remove all these faces here like this, right? And use machine tools to fill out these gaps because machine tools gonna fill it out uh, maintaining the curvature perfectly, okay? So we got this. Now, we're gonna grab that and we're going to move it in, okay? And we're going to kind of align it. Uh, so let's go to settings and mm, wireframe. So we're going to align it here in a way that it's going to be outside these loops, okay? You can see that it's kind of sticking out on each side, yeah? And we're going to simply 
um, difference this and apply it. So um, go to operations and smile apply. And we're going to remove this one because we don't need it. Okay. So now we need to connect these edges to create quad topology. So we're going to connect these here. And now we need to grab a knife and connect these two here. And then we're going to connect this one. And then we're going to remove these because we don't need them. And remove these, yeah? Okay. So now we have a perfect circle and it's also perfectly conforming to the surface of this curvature. So now when I'm going to subdivide it, okay, let me just turn off the wireframe. We're going to subdivide it once and we're going to also remove these top faces because we don't need them. And we're going to shrink wrap it. So shrink wrap and deform. You can see that we have a perfect circle, right? But at the same time, we have to connect these two as well here. Boom. We have a perfect circle and we also have a perfect shading. So if I'm going to go to Sheet Smooth and I'm going to go to our matcap and I'm going to fill out these holes with Ctrl F and Grid Fill, you'll see we're going to have a perfect shading here. So now what we're going to do, uh, we're going to press F here, inset it, okay? We're going to extrude it. And we're going to delete this. Actually, what we could do, we could actually straighten it. So let's go to global and create a custom orientation as Z0. And we're going to run a bevel here. So press P and create a bevel here. And then we're going to create maybe one loop here. So G, G and E. And drop it somewhere here. One more here. And we're going to select all these loops, including the one in the front here. All these loops, right? So just one control plus. We're going to create a custom vertex group, assign it, and we're going to remove it from shrink wrapping. So we're going to assign it here and invert this selection because at the moment shrink wrap is shrink wrapping the vertex group only. What we want is to shrink wrap anything but that group. So boom. So now you can see that we have a perfect circle. I'm going to go to orthographic view. That's a perfect circle. And we also have a perfect shading, right? It's spotless. And that's how you do it. Well, I hope you learned something useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.